All right, let's do some Jocktober. Yeah. Awesome. A celebration of Rap Rap Tastic Radio from around this great nation of ours. Great. Right. Thank you. So turn up this turdacular radio. Oh my God! I can't believe it. It's yes. October. Today yeah. we've been waiting all month. I know you have. Scott and fucking Todd from show. New York City, the Big Show. Scott and Todd. <laughs> <laughs> they've been spewing their horse shit for how many years now oh in New York God. City? Uh, but well, over 20. But yeah. see, they get to keep their jobs because they play it nice and safe for everybody. They certainly do. No one really gets hurt with their radio show. It's worked yeah, for but them. No one gets arrested with their radio show. Would you want to keep your job if that was your job? No, I'd, 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 I'd get bored. Yeah, That's exactly. That's why we got to blow it up every fucking five or six years. Keep it spicy. Uh, let's get right into spicy. it, Ant. <laughs> Scott and Todd shake the foundation of uh, the radio world. What? That's right. By taking on the original and controversial topic. Ready for this? What? Fugitive? Guy, fugitive. <laughs> That's right. Guys and girls shop differently. No way. <laughs> That's right. No way. Prove it. Yes. Gender roles in America tackled by Scott and Todd. God. Enough. I like went and bought like all kinds of. That's what I do. Like I wait a I while and yeah. then, then I hate everything I own. Yeah. So I go and see Mike at Crookhorns. I go, I hate everything I own. He goes, perfect. It's right by Bellevue Theater. Yeah. Isn't that something oh, right. that guys shop different than right. ladies? Because I don't understand. My daughter and my wife, they always, no my matter what, my wife, go shopping. What the fuck was that? They need. My daughter and my wife. Scott, it doesn't wife. matter you can't talk anymore. Scott l lost the ability to speak uh, they years ago. They pulled his skin back so much <laughs> right. that his mouth doesn't work anymore. Well, he said, my daughter and my wife. <laughs> That's a nasally idiot. That's why Todd point. does the bits. The mouth doesn't yeah. open anymore in. No, it doesn't open. It's it's it's, it's like this. That's pretty interesting stuff. My daughter, my wife, they they always, no matter what, <laughs> they can go shopping and, and they need something bad. Where guys go like this, you wait. You go out. I go out all at once and I get everything at once. That's right. At once. You, wait. You, go out, I go out all at once and I get That's everything right. at once. You know what I do? I wear all my underpants till they're all shot to hell. Right, then <laughs> and then I go buy thirty all pairs of underpants. Thirty. <laughs> well, yeah, like to rotate yeah, them. Yeah. I have a sock right. trip once in a while. I got to do right. a sock trip. Same, I just did that. I just bought like 15 yeah. new pairs of socks. You know why we buy that many? Because we don't want to go back again. Right. Well, we you don't want to go <laughs> back again. We buy that many what? because we use them as gauze after plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with them? It sounds Holy like he's got socks in his mouth. A big drop off from uh, oh, last yeah. we heard from Mouth's Scott Shannon. And sounds, there's, there's, sounds like uh, the, the early stages of Dick Clark. Yeah. Early stages yeah. of Dick Clark in there, right? Scott Stroke Shannon you. used to have a voice like this. He used to talk like, uh, have that real, there's a radio guy voice. Always like <laughs> that. Bye. And I love Todd because he doesn't always need a punchline. As long as he says something in the mundane sentence, funny, like, oh, underpants. Yeah. Underpants. <laughs> yeah, you just... Uh, I buy underpants. underpants. You just reworked the word a little ah, bit. Ah, that's funny right there. That's yeah, funny stuff. A uh, turd. <laughs> what? What's that about? Turd. Turd. I don't what? know. Turd? I just saw somebody put turd, turd down there. It's great. They do a terrible show. A uh, turd. Scott and Todd. Turd. Scott and Todd talk about Terrible. Kristen Davis. We know Kristen Davis. She's running uh, for the, yes. uh, for the mayor. governor. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, governor, I, governor. Sorry. I was supposed to be lieutenant governor. You blew after it. After Jimmy was offered. You blew it. And then I was offered, mm -hmm. uh, and I said, no, thank you. And you guys aren't the only one that get a little edgy when you talk about Kristen Davis, because we know where she came from. Oh, boy. She used to be She's a not a hooker, though. She was a man. Oh, She's a Hold on. Doesn't matter when Scott and Todd get a hold of it. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. true. Mad men. You throw the facts out the window. Watch yeah. out. Uh, they yeah. still do well in the ratings? Well what, enough. What are what ratings? I mean, they got their audience. To oh, just, the they're fuck. fucking terrible. They're all terrible. Well, my wife and daughter. What happened to you? <laughs> fucking guy, this uh. bugs me. Yes. Buy a buy a sock. You gotta buy a lot of person. He's like a talking rock. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb tongue. What happened? I hate him.
He looks like Rocky Dennis. We did that whole oh, thing last yeah, year. Really Awful. Does. Pulling the pins out of the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to go with me. My wife says I look like a lion. <laughs> does she? You're fucking that drunk sheriff. Uh, <laughs> crank into her womb. <laughs> pumped out that fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like Rocky Dennis. Look at him, man. Google him. Oh, Scott God. Shannon. Fucking Jesus. Oh, I wish fuck Cher would go in face. and try to wake him up for his morning show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to open the show. Shades. Chin McGillicuddy. <laughs> his fucking chin bugs me. Oh, is he a boob? Yeah, Jimmy, uh, you said Easter Island head. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. yeah he got that uh, Easter Ma. Island head looking thing. Look, his hair is nailed on. It's it fucking... It really is. It's disturbing to look at. His skin is so stretched, his eyebrows, he constantly looks surprised. Right. Oh, my goodness. You know who was the number one Scott and Todd fan back in the day? E-Rock. You bet. E, e to the R. You, you want to defend yourself E-Rock, that? please. No, I worked for them. No, he didn't. Look at Hannity next He's to... He's a hanger-on. Look, <laughs> punch that picture that coffee up. For the guy look at wants. Hannity's head <laughs> compared to Scott Shannon's yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. Like, Hannity's got a normal size head. It's bizarre. It's huge. It's really, really large. That is the biggest jaw I've ever seen in my life. God. He's got a tennis ball for a chin. Yeah, yeah. That, that's crazy. Makes him look manly. He looks like Quagmire from Family Yes! Family. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, they talk about Kristen Davis. John Poderitz had to apologize for calling Kristen Davis the gubernatorial candidate a hooker. Because she really technically wasn't. She wasn't a hooker. No, no. She says she never has had sex for money. She said, I'm sorry I called Kristen Davis a hooker. Big column today. Yeah, big headline. Yeah. Huh? She just made money off of other people doing that. Well, she was the she was she's, the hooker booker. Right, she's a madam. She's for a the, madam, right? For, for the escort, sir. Is is Todd's job just to repeat like big phrases in a story? Bah. Well, what's great about this is big when, headline. When we were setting up the clip, yeah, everything, all the information that's in this clip was given out by Jim in a single moment. He said. Yeah, she wasn't a hooker. She was a madam. Mm. That's all you need to say. Yeah. Except they spend, what, a minute? <laughs> oh, my wife and daughter. Stop it. My wife and daughter. Yeah, that's a good idea, Redding. Uh, we should compare Scott from last year to this year because there's a drop-off, and we're big fans of the drop-off from year to year. Put together a... Scott montage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's for a the, madam, right. For, for the escort service. She said she had a business degree, and she wanted to make more money than she could just doing regular business. So that's what she, she doing business, all right. Damn, all right. <laughs> that was nonsense. Why does feel... his voice slow down? Everyone else's isn't. Make sure <laughs> business, all right. They got to fill time. I mean, they got all this time. What if Scott and Ivis did a show oh, together? Yeah, because yeah, Ivis, I mean, we love the guy, but he's he's had a drop-off, too. Who are our guests today, John Ivis? No, we got a uh, <laughs> senator going out and making talk about the upcoming election. Well, Ryan's on thinking me all the We should do some more comedy bits. Do you do song parodies? I used to do song parody back in the day. I don't do much anymore. We do all the tuba I ain't in trouble too much. I ain't in trouble too much when I said, not me heading home. Word in the... Not me heading home. Not me heading home. Not me heading home. Understand them, turd. Hey, turd. 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 <laughs> <laughs> turd. I would go, hey, Scott. Your head's so big it can't even fit into the Lincoln Tunnel. <laughs> Nailed him. <laughs> totally. Ha <laughs> ha 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 turd. <laughs> E-Rock still can't find it. Jesus. What's he looking to play the stupid play? What are you looking for, sweet E-Rock? He's looking for turd. He, uh, he doesn't know where it is. That should be on a hot button. Exactly. E-Rock right has there, a haircut for that documentary you watched. Ah, uh, Down Syndrome. <laughs> uh, sorry, Eric. I don't mean that shit. Uh, now, yeah, Monica and Eric on HBO. <laughs> Scott brings up the, fam the famous uh, penis uh, guy statue. That's oh, right. We've talked about it. Yes. yes. In the uh, Time Warner building? Once. I videotaped yes. uh, yeah, yeah. people touching the fucking penis statue. I sucked the paint off that thing. Very good. That's <laughs> why it's gold. Very good, Jimmy. If you notice, it, it does, uh, the, the penis on it has a worn 
Look Everybody good. grabs it. Everyone, Everyone grabs it. the fucking With their greasy hands. They've polished it down. Ah, it's Bob Kelly. That's <laughs> yeah. it. it really does look. Like Bob I guess the the, the Times and uh, a bunch of New York papers finally did a story on it because everyone right. goes there and gets their picture taken with the penis yeah. statue and touches the penis and all that. So they had to bring up the big story here. Everything New York on Scott. And uh, of course, got to keep it local. Yeah. There's a big statue <laughs> at the Time Warner Center. There's a big statue. <laughs> His nasal fucking passage is closed. I don't think that's a cold. I think that's uh, from I surgery. Is. is that Todd or Dad, Scott? Dad, you know what? You stand there, they grab your hog dude, it takes the paint off, Dad. boom, you smile. I'm giant. <laughs> There's a big statue at the Time Warner Center Mall. You know over there, the shops at Columbus Circle. Bill, that's right near you, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. They have a great big statue in there. <laughs> Twelve feet tall. Ooh. And they have some problems. It's a, it's a pretty oh. impressive piece. Fernando Botera, is that how you say his Botera. name? Gives a shit. Yeah. Familiar with it. Might have some over my house like that. Yeah. No, yeah, a yeah. lot of 12 foot statues. You know the paintings sure. with the big, fat, really like huge, round, fat people? That was Botero? Botero, yeah. Botero? You know that. You know, like the other two. Uh, they're, they're slowing mm. down their deliveries mm. just to kind of hang with Scott. They want to be going a lot faster with their show. You could hear it. Well, the last thing you, you want hear to, it. you can't go on Scott's show and outshine Scott. Right, Big so statue. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with him? He oh, stinks. His fucking salivary gland is being squeezed out of his mouth. You don't think he sounds natural when he talks? No. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, the, the Time Warner building is a big statue. <laughs> <laughs> He's a That's wreck. exactly what he says. He's a wreck. His He's face a... looks like he's constantly facing the wind. <laughs> it's a mess. It's just, uh, what did he do? Pulled back. Right. It's affecting his speech. That was Botero. Botero, yeah. Botero, sorry. And and statues as well. No, this way. guy's name is Adam, <laughs> and there there's a big problem going on because he's naked, problem. and he's twelve feet tall. Why and do they do that? He has put a pair of pants. He on. has like a little miniature thing on him. Yeah, well, that's what they that's what they do. That's, that's his thing. He yeah, was, he thing. liked it that way. He liked. Yeah, I mean, you'll see like. He, did him? Yeah, big fat women with little tiny breasts, and <laughs> I mean that's just though that's what his style. So, oh, that is terrible. You weren't interested in the artist who did the mm. statue. Was I, that the same artist that did the the fat woman that was in front of K Rock? I bet a fat woman with little breasts. Oh, probably. She looked like Rosie. I bet that was a Botero. It probably was a, a Botero. Botero. This is how bad that radio show is. I, I like Botox, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take that, you fuck. <laughs> Dummy. Don't give a shit what you did for this business, you suck. Oh. <laughs> this is how bad they are. They were talking about a 12-foot statue and people grabbing its dick and they lost me. Yeah, yeah they couldn't. Uh, how do you lose me on that? Yeah, it could be the easiest thing to do on radio. How do you fuck that up? They couldn't talk about it, well, also, because well. it's regular radio. Well, they continue talking about it, so they let's give them a oh, second chance shit. here. Yeah, it's Guys. not done yet. Oh, Jimmy spoke too soon, I think. Uh, I got you. <laughs> well, the problem is, when people style. come in there, tourists come in there to take a picture by Adam. It's about his personality. They reach up and grab his thing. They do? Yeah, look, there's Who a lady right there. Who the fuck right is there. saying that in the now background? The problem is that's Todd. Is they Todd, Todd, they yeah. do. He's fucking horrendous. Yeah, you do. They Underpants. Do? Underpants. <laughs> Underpants. <laughs> He's just background noise. You know what he is? He's like, it's like hearing someone being interviewed in a bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> He's just fucking verbal pins falling down. So like, shut the fuck up, <laughs> you fucking pins. broad. Shut up. <laughs> What's worse they is they've been do. on the radio together longer than we have. But, dude, all yeah. he's saying is like, oh, it's terrible. They're going to put pants on it. They do? Why? Yeah. Put pants on Why the wouldn't statue. you touch it? It's a great Facebook photo. What kind of people. fucking guy thinks like that? Right. Who gives a shit? You touch the fucking penis and you move on. That's all he does is chime in in the back with nonsense. <laughs> right. yeah, it's like Please. rubbing Buddha's belly. Exactly. <laughs> right. You just jack off the fucking statue. Right. For I've good actually, luck. I've so actually I'll watched bet. families getting their picture taken. I'll walk right up and go, don't you wish you would tall so you could suck that thing <laughs> and i'll tell you this much if you don't touch the penis you're gay what mm -hmm. oh, because oh, you got feelings inside oh. you can't handle yeah then you're you not do. secure about that's your right. own masculinity yeah. if, if you don't touch the penis you're gay if you can't touch oh, a 12 foot not. tall gentleman's <laughs> right cock because it's silly you yeah, grab the fucking silly. thing and you know it is i'm gonna it's, be him it's silly <laughs> it is oh yeah yeah
Because it's cool. His little dingalings <laughs> hang. Why is it white? Because it's so many people yeah, are taking it's like pictures. Good luck. Oh, wow. So many people have uh, taken pictures. Worn away. Yeah, it's oh, gold. Yeah. It's oh. kind of gold Jeez. when the rest of it is a dark bronze. Yeah, because it's been rubbed clean. A building worker Higgs. asked not to use his name. Higgs. Says, "Why? They, why is that? Because he's a douchebag. But it's not even done in humor. Uh, they would have dumped out of that at CBS, huh? They would have dumped out of, of that. Of course at CBS. they would. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What Cause the she, fuck? Cause she we're the worst they lawyers it. ever. Mm. Yeah, you can't say you that. You can talk about the penis without mentioning the word penis, and then talk about it's a statue we're talking about. Yes, I know. Uh, and you, <laughs> but you can't talk about uh, stroking the penis That's of the, the. You know what? At CBS, I bet you we wouldn't even be able to do the story at all. No. That's the there kind would of be no way to do it that you had to walk on over yeah, there. Yeah. Like when they just said that because they referenced, they said the word penis, and then like in the next sentence they said something about rubbing it. In my brain went, oh, dump. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's like uh, radio. Uh, <laughs> do we have the dump logs? I have. Uh, they used to get, love they used to get really mad at us when we read the dump. I like to read them sometimes out of context because we it's have just to so do a whole yeah. well, on a slow morning. Bring that shit in, and we're gonna go through some of My that. My favorite was Louis we C.K. Even was in, huh? Oh. When Louis was in, oh, then you'd realize why the dump guy was there. Louis says "cunt," but with a K. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he looks all puzzled. Yeah, well, what? I, I can't. Oh, do you that? can't. You can't say I <laughs> diarrhea shit in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I said ship, not shit. <laughs> That's not to use his name. Said legend. Would have it that when they put him in here, he wasn't smiling. Now he's smiling. <laughs> that's it. That's a what was that noise? <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably a machine gun <laughs> shooting all of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a genuine moment on that show. No. Not a genuine None. moment of conversation. And they <laughs> still fucking have their job. <laughs> Oh, we got a dump sheet? Oh, my God. Look at all the Louis C.K.'s. <laughs> if you just read the Louis C.K. dumps from June 27th, 2008, when we were on regular radio, right. commercial radio. Read the time, too. Radio, sure. Whatever the fuck radio. 722, you poop your pants on my body. <laughs> 722, again, diarrhea that came out of your anus. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> 724, diarrhea on top of the chocolate. <laughs> 724. Diarrhea dispenser. <laughs> Seven twenty-four. Splurge diarrhea all your food. <laughs> Hang on, folks. Louis. Seven twenty-four. <laughs> diarrhea goes all over your Rocky Mountain chocolate. <laughs> now we get a break for about an hour. He's oh, obsessed oh. with diarrhea. <laughs> Louis must have went out and had breakfast. Yeah, he gave or us he an hour. Shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> or he had yeah, to care with diarrhea. Eight twenty-two. Uh -huh. Is that a finger going in? Oh boy. Can't and then eight forty-five and fifty-five. It just says douchebags. Mm -hmm. And eight fifty-six. Just in quotes. And this is why I love the out of context dump report. I can have a gun and an erection. <laughs> None of those should have been dumped, by the way. No. The, the last four. The last four should not have been dumped. Right. No. Uh, it's Scott and Todd. Uh, Scott and Todd. Uh, bit time. All yeah. right. I mean, you guys, oh, no, no, where oh, they oh, shine. Oh, hold on. We're not done with the penis thing. I thought oh, we were. Oh, damn it. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we hear the laugh again. Is there any way to get back like 10 seconds ago? <laughs> Somebody in the store, there's that a customer really who's wonderful. laughing, saying you can see his pee-pee's a different color because people are always rubbing on it. Yeah. Oh, it's dump that. Oh, dump that. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to do that. Say, say the pee-pee's a different color because <laughs> people are always rubbing on it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Well, Scott and Todd are a little more edgy than the Opie and Anthony show on K-Rock. There was a time yeah. that people thought Scott was God in this business. Yeah, to, Rock. Well, Eric still thinks E-Rock so. being one of them. E-Rock. E-Rock still trades tapes. <laughs> Do you? E-Rock, are you still a tape trader? Don't trade our tapes. Are you trading our tapes? That's property of Sirius XM, E-Rock. Motherfucker, he's trading our tapes. Trading our tapes. E -Rock. For some Scott classic Scott Shannon tapes. <laughs> yeah. Scott. That's our archive, E-Rock. You can't trade what, him. What format did he start? Mojo Radio? Was he the guy? He started the morning zoo and then Mojo, went to Mojo. Radio. Did he do Mojo Radio though? Oh yeah. Yeah, when he came back from LA. Yeah. It's Mojo Radio. I remember the commercials for that. I don't Mojo even know what that Mojo Radio. I don't know what it means. Maybe we can find an old Mojo Radio commercial. It meant modern hits, but then he threw in like old 60s R&B with it. What? How is that Mojo Radio? Get your mojo going. Oh, he's an stuff. idiot. <laughs> oh, he's an idiot. <laughs> uh, it's bit time, Sam. I mean, you got to give it up to them. After all these years, they are still, they don't sound as good as they used to, but they're still pulling off a hell of a show. That's Terrific one bits. thing. Yeah. Shut it. Okay. A selection from Keith Richards' audiobook as read by Keith Richards. That's right. Not uh, Todd Pettengale doing a bad Keith Richards impression. No, no, of Keith course Richards. not. Keith Richards. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Establishing the biography life by Rolling Stone Keith Richards will hit store shelves on Tuesday. Here now is a selection from the audiobook read by Keith Richards himself. Page 41. Oh, wait, man. That's a picture of me and Tony Orlando. That's how oh, Keith Richards sounds. A, fucking, what is that? The top hand gale. Hey. But that's, that's not a Keith impression. No? It's horrible. You, you, you do, don't think it's any good? You do an English accent and, and, and you slur and you, you sound drunk and fucking yeah. high. That hey, does sound like uh, Keith Richards. That sounds like I was in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Keith Richards from the Pirates of the Caribbean? No, not even the Keith Richards from no. the Pirates of the Caribbean. A different character? I mean the, the ride. Oh. At, at Disney World, yeah. His voice wasn't used in the ride. Tony Orlando, page like. 42. We was playing a gig in Buffalo. It was 1968. It's a funny way to say the word Buffalo. Oh, 1985. I'm not very good with the dates, man. Dates is not my strong suit. I'd account of my liberal use of drugs and alcohol. Right. I mean, everything I see is like I'm looking through a fishbowl, right? Anyway, let me get back to it. We was in Poughkeepsie, or Orlando, one of them towns in Maine, right? I'm not so good with locations on account of some venereal disease that eats away at my brainstem. Why are they on the radio? What do you mean? Why are they on the radio? <laughs> they're just there to entertain the people. And they're syndicated, right? Uh, no, they lost that. Oh, man. Oh, they lost their syndication. He's using a bloody double. I'll tell you, he's using a bloody double. Fucking prestige. <laughs> but the tricks ain't worth nothing without the prestige. It's a good movie, but it's not as good as Scott and Todd. Shut, Shut it. up. <laughs> this is the last year we do Jocktober. You're done. You guys are just yeah, so awesome. fed up. It's Had too it. frustrating. Had it. It's not even fun for ever, anyone. Does it wear off by next year, though? We go, oh, look, Ray, Jack's I over. Yeah. I don't know. I, we have, always have a lot of I fun I think we forget. It. No, and then yeah, the first two shows, you guys are like, you spend an hour and a half doing it, yeah, having like a lot of fun. It's like women with labor then, pains. No, I don't, I don't they think go it. through a lot of pain and agony, but then they want to do it again. You know why? why? Chemicals released. Yeah, that's a chemicals released with this, too. With us? Hopefully it's cyanide. <laughs> Chemical release to make them forget <laughs> how bad it was so they can do it again. People always doubt that I'm going to be able to come up with new shows, too. Mm. And every year, there'll be new shows next year. Will. We're not doing it next year. I mean, nope. it might be a good idea nope. to try. Nah. They continue with the Keith Richards because they didn't get enough material out there. Oh. But let, 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 let me tell you a story. We was driving down a road in Cleveland in my BMW or my Mercedes or uh, AMC Pacer. I'm not so good. See, he doesn't know because he's very drunk and high all the time. Right. <laughs> His memory is not great. So. I'm not so good with cars, you know, makes or models. On account of I step on a rusty nail, I got active tetanus virus pumping through me like 24 7. Oh, God, my stomach doesn't feel good, man. Anyway, we're in oh. this Chevy in Michigan, right? And we oh. actually run over Linda Lavin. It was, wait a minute, it wasn't Linda Lavin, it was B. Arthur. No, no, not, not, not B. Arthur, man. It, it was Jane Mansfield. How long is I'm not very good with go. names, man. It's not good with, I'm not good with time, I don't remember. Thing on my gonad oh, bag, good. and I'm like oh, wicked highly allergic. Oh, God, I, <laughs> anyway, there we are on the side of the road in Kansas in our Oldsmobile, looking at the body of Judd Hirsch we just run down. Crazy, right? Oh, God, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> I don't feel good at all. Oh, is that this out? Been a selection from the audiobook yes, it is. by Keith Richards. <laughs> I've oh, seen the way he does it. It's bloody boring. <laughs> <laughs> that was their big bit, too, I bet you. Uh, I bet you that was the 730 bit. It was. That had to be the 730 bit. Yeah, that was that was, that was their that money was the maker. Is Jackie here? Yes. What do you mean? What do you, I mean We're going to take a break. We'll get back to this horse You can't later. handle it right now. Well, we'll do the phone scam, which is uh, what uh, uh, they're known for. That is a benchmark. Even though you're not allowed to do uh, prank calls anymore. Benchmark bit. Todd Strong Suits. So they're fake fucking prank calls, and they're still strong doing them. Strong Suits. Todd Pangale used to be the host of WWF Mania. Yeah, good what? for him. That's right. And then they do a song parody, Anthony. So that's, it's perfect. Thank the Lord. It's perfect October radio. I can't wait to count the shoehorn that is used <laughs> yeah. to shoehorn the words in. Oh, what's, there, what's he, he's beautiful. the famous shoehorner. Todd is, is the, the famous worst shoehorner. With that, shoehorning words Can we do that, and then in. we'll do the phone scam later? The yeah, best yeah. part about Scott and Todd is there's always a bad song parody every show. 
There's always a bad phone call every show, and there's always a bad bit every show. Every show, and all their conversations. So it doesn't. There's no pressure. And, like it's just right. like I just tune in today. Yeah. And, and once again, it would be easy, real easy, to make these shows sound really bad if you just told Sam get their really the the worst shit they've done over the last month and put it together into one fucking piece. Uh huh. This is one show. This is all from last. This Friday. is the beauty Fuck. of October. This is one fucking show. It's horrible. You don't it like really Scott is Tom? horrible. Scott and no. Todd, was, I was trying to you turn around the bit and bring in one good show. <laughs> oh, really? See, like yes. the Keith Richards bit, we're playing it and making fun of it for Jocktober. Sure. I sit here uncomfortable because I know people are tur turning our show off even though we're mocking this. Mm -hmm. So how are people <laughs> listening this, uh, to this for real and staying tuned in? If somebody tuned into this show for the first time, heard five seconds of the Keith Richards bit, and then turned off the show and they think or that's that, what we or do. Or loved it. <laughs> and, and they want more, and then they get us. These yeah. guys are good natured. I kind of like the way they yeah. do radio. Right yeah. oh, oh God, I heard this thing on the uh, Opie and Anthony. They did this uh, parody <laughs> on um, Keith Richards. It was so funny. It was cute, you know. Yeah, it was cute. I they think tune the next day. It's all miscarriage rhyming <laughs> jokes. <laughs> I think we're time travelers. I don't think we're supposed to be here. What do you mean? I don't, I, I don't know. I think we just are from somewhere else. Because I, why, why are people listening to that shit? You know what it is. Like, you I, guys I are it. above radio. It's safe. They could play it in the stores and stuff. Come on. They could play it uh, anywhere. Whoa, Come did you hear the penis statue break? That was crazy. All right, all right, you're right. Here's That's, their that song parody. Oh, good. It's, it's when the Yankees were still... It was before they got... Oh, no. This was last Friday's show before they got song. yanked out. Todd loves his Yankees. Oh, Where no. Where'd it go, <laughs> It sounds chaotic there. Oh, what a mess with poor Tony in the van. I think they rolled the van over on him. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're trying to win number 28. Let's go Yankees. New York Yankees. They've got a date with Destiny and Faith. Destiny. Destiny. There's the first shoehorn. There's the shoehorn. Ring you the bell Destiny. for the shoehorn. It's Destiny. It's not Destiny. Not Destiny. It Just doesn't fit the rhyme scheme. Oh, Just because you need another not. syllable. Not a dummy. He's... They've got a date with destiny and fate. Let's go Yankees, New York Yankees. Uh, they're gonna pass that ball over that damn wall. No, they're they're not. gonna crush that ball till the Sterling call. Posada's coming home. Wild throw. That's he right, scores. Sterling calls. He went out by 20 feet. Cano it's got it all. and Swisher go back to back. <laughs> Stop a run to his feet, throws, got him, what a play. The Grandy Man can. <laughs> no, the They're playing the Sterling call They're like it's cool. They're celebrating, They're celebrating, They're celebrating the Sterling, Sterling call. Dude, 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 look. I swear I, I got to it you, too, look. I have got, I got it. goosebump douche chills. Those are the exact over me. John Sterling calls that we play and make fun and of. And make fun of. And they are celebrating. They're this celebrating is, John they Sterling and his great they calls. They put it in the stupid song. No, the Grandy Man can. The Yankees Lose. win. They're gonna bring it home, and that's for sure. For sure. Let's go, Yankees. Oh. New York Yankees. Yeah. They're gonna win it for George Steinbrenner. Oh. Let's go, Yankees. <laughs> shoehorning douche. You shoehorning yeah. douche. Ah, you suck. What are they gonna win for him? A fucking satin pillow? <laughs> Dude, they couldn't win another couple weeks. They won nothing for George Steinbrenner. Brenner. New York Yankees. Yeah, go see him in the mausoleum. Because <laughs> he's a corpusy. <laughs> because he d I'd. <laughs> Not fucking assholes. Not a fan of the shoe warning, Jimmy. It's fucking horrendous. Uh, you think they're assholes? They really, they're, 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 uh, abs they're utter assholes. We should, we should have been dickheads. doing New York radio. Absolute dickheads. We should have been doing New York radio when we all were 18 years old. Yeah, that's Who was in our fucking way for all these years? Uh, we're going to win it for George Steinbrenner. Just Steinbrenner. Yeah, dickheads. Uh, oh, the maggots they can. <laughs> fucking asshole Sterling. <laughs> The Grandy Man. Ah, uh, you got the back to back and belly to belly in there. Exactly, and a and a oh. and a and a head to pillow and a hands over chest. <laughs> That's what they win for Steinbrenner. <laughs> Nothing. Old fucking maggot ears. <laughs> exactly. How's that jaw drop? <laughs> his jaw <laughs> oh, drop. <laughs> and his fingernails they grow, <laughs> and his hair gets long. <laughs> Uh, but he's dead. <laughs> uh, Joe Girardi has adult braces. <laughs> <laughs> he looks stupid. Uh. <laughs>
fucking <laughs> terrible. Uh, this guy says that, uh, hold on, let me uh, read this here. Wow. He just writes, uh, this is not funny, Scott from New York. Uh, <laughs> listening to this shit, I can't decide if I should sleep or punch my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Rigor more or artist. <laughs> yes. Uh, For George Steinbrenner, oh. let's go Yankees, New York Yankees. Go Yankees. They will put on a show oh. with Jeter and Cano. Another <laughs> rings the wish. For a rod and swish, oh. CC's the Cy Young ace. Lance Berkman rules first base. We've got our skipper Joe. We'll wrap it up with Mo. Oh. We're gonna win it all. <laughs> I can't take this. What's wrong? We're gonna be the last team standing. No. Yeah. Yankees win. Yes, but They're the listeners to lose. Win number 28. Let's go, Yankees. Oh, New York Yankees. They've got a date with destiny and fate. Destiny. Let's go, Yankees. New York Yankees. Uh, I, 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 gonna so I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm to say for the record. I hope these children are car accidents. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, a fiery red. Another rings the wish for a rod and switch. CC's the Cy Young Ace. Yeah. Lance Berkman rules first base. Yes, we does. got our skipper Joe. And we'll we are both homo. <laughs> yeah. 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 Susan Waldman looks like a tranny. Why <laughs> those freaks? Scott and Todd on PLJ. Go oh, Yankees! There's nothing <laughs> freaky about them. Why yeah. would you call them freaks? Because they're maniacs. Oh, God. They're fucking that wonder I'm cold. From the douche shells? Yeah, something physically. I had a physical reaction to that. Maybe it was excitement. <laughs> Maybe you know no. what you know what you're coming down with? What? Yankee fever. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, so so well. do the Yankees. It's a bad case of it. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, uh, we got Jackie standing by. We got to take a quick break, but uh, very good news. We still have their phone scam, which is their big benchmark yeah, bit. Yeah, Can't wait to hear your, the Scott and Todd uh, phone scam. And we can hear the parody song again. Uh, we might have to do that. Oh, and also, people are requesting uh, Club Soda Kenny's uh, phone scams. Yes. Oh, we yes. haven't played those in a while, E-Rock, so go get those for us, all right? <laughs> he really pulled the wool over a couple of people's eyes. And we're, we're going to break with a, a new bit that Sam's doing. Uh, right. do, do I give it a, Should I just play it? It's a song parody? It's primetime Sam Roberts, one question interviews. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. I just gave away the bit. That's fine. Primetime Sam Roberts. Dun, 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 one, song, dun. One, one, one question interviews. Do you want to do a song for the intro or something? Uh, that's it. I did that's it. Bad that's idea. Good. He'll ask one question, John. You'll have an answer. <laughs> <laughs>